moving on, we're going to start working on these stairs. We need G01 and G02. And this is G01. And this is G02. This is G02-1 and 2-2. And it says before making, please cut out G02. Now I will be coloring my edges. And now what they want us to do is the two G02s, which are these two little ones here, go at the top. The remainder of them go at the bottom. And this part with like this little complete diamond shape as opposed to this pyramid shape here. This is the top. So we want to glue our G02-1s here and our last two G02-2s here. going to start working on the larger roof and it's saying before making cut out a19-2-1 and a21 according to template and that is this roofing stuff that we have the pattern attached to and we need a21 according to template so what we need we're making this so we need all these edge parts but we need a21-3 this one one two of them and a21-4 two of those To take this around a little bit so our patterns stay after we start cutting.
Okay, here's our roof pieces. Now we need pieces out of bag C and we need C14 and C15, 16, and 17, two of each. They have little lines running through them to show the front. 14 and 15 have these little corner cuts in them and 16 and 17 are straight along here. So this is 14 with the corner cut. This is 16. This is 17. This is 15. And I don't know if you can see them little corner cuts compared to the straightness here. The straight ones are 16 and 17, and the ones with the corner cuts are 14 and 15. We also need C11, that's this, and C12, and C13, that's these two. I'll leave them like they have them. And we also need A19-2-1. A19 is plywood, a wood piece. So that is in this. Somewhere. There's a 20, I'm guessing it's these here. So let's pull this out. Yes, and we want A19-2-1, that's these right here. we want out which you can tell by these it looks like little slate tiles this way it doesn't look right this is shinier and they want us to make a crease at the position of the red line which is right here below these indents Should be 1.6 centimeters, it says. Well, mine's a little bigger, but we'll let that go for now. Might have to trim at this tip. Next, we want to take A21-4 and flip it over and glue on a 19-2 right there. take A21-3 and make a crease here next 
Next, we want to take one of the threes, the big ones, and glue it to this here. And now, from previously working on these roofs, just kind of do it. It's not going to look right while you're doing it, but it winds up being all right. Take this part and round it and it goes right on there and it's so much easier. There's no struggle. And these outside ones, bend them up as much as necessary to match up with these side ones. So C14 and 15 go here, just here, not down. So something like that. 13 has to sit between them two notches. So these are literally on this part of the roof at the very edge. And you can bring it out a little to kind of cover those edges. That's what I'm doing. Just brought it out just a little to help cover the edges. Keeping those in line. I think that looks pretty good. is this bigger one and that goes right there between them in those notches goes on top so now we need to glue these together And then 16 and 17 get glued on these arches.
And now we take this and put it along top. And now we want to put one of the pendant lamps in it. This says pendant lamp 2. Stick on the pendant lamp. Okay, so we did our large roof today and put one of our lights in it, our pendant light. And that's where we are right now. Just for fun. White is negative. Gray is positive. There's a little light shining in there. I like the way they have them, but it's not 100% bad. 